All right, guys, Levi Trumbull reporting at Winchester Hall in Frederick, Maryland. Now, why are these two gentlemen here, that being Sean Porter and Sam Rosenblum? Well, from what I understand, these two gentlemen right here were upset about the fact that the white rabbit was arrested and charged as it relates to a demonstration with a sign in Avery, North Carolina, in the city of Newland. Now, I'm not going to put words in their mouths. I'm not going to speak for them. But as I understand it, that was their grievance. So they came to a Frederick County, Maryland County Council hearing with very large signage, a protest, if you will. And how did it go? Well, um, basically, as you stated, William Barthel was arrested for simply holding a sign in the back of a it? in back of a public meeting. Mm -hmm. There was a word on there. It was the C word and they didn't like it. So they said that the C word was disruptive and therefore he was charged with disrupting a public meeting, a government meeting, something along those mm -hmm. lines. And then he resisted the unlawful arrest without violence. They charged him with resisting arrest and all this other stuff. And uh, you know how it goes. Basically, it was criti a sign critical of a, a county commissioner uh, down there. And then one of her buddies, uh, a fellow thug, uh, sought to have him arrested by the local sheriff there. It's caused outrage in the community. The mayor is absolutely beside himself that this happened in his city. Uh, it was county staff that did this. So what I decided to do is I decided to come to Winchester Hall to a county council meeting to see if they were going to be all messed up just like they were down there. Mm -hmm. And so we came in here blind. I've never actually been in that room back there. Okay. It is really, really boring in there. They were talking about like not enough diversity and no one applied for this job that was diverse enough. And I mean, just it was really boring. It was like watching glue uh, set or paint dry or grass grow. Um, but I didn't know what to expect, whether or not we were going to be tased, tackled, tear gassed, what was going to happen. Uh, luckily enough, we had brave Sam Rosenblum come yes. with us. Yes, we did. Um, and so that's why we came here today. And that's that's how it started. We met outside and uh, we started coming through the doors. And we started getting the looks from security like this out the window as we're getting the giant signs mm -hmm. ready. And uh, as we made our way through the door, um, nothing. They just showed us which way to go and we're very helpful. And one of them even opened the door for us. And I think we met um, one of the sheriff's departments, uh, like plain clothes security for the county executive was here. He, he also was very friendly to us and uh, we had no problems at all. I mean, we were coming in hot. We were coming in one way or another. We were absolutely going to express our First Amendment protected rights about how we need to stop the tyranny of Nora Roberts and Justin Bieber here in Frederick County. Just leave Frederick County alone, Nora. Okay, so I'm going to come to Sam in one moment, but I want to be clear, and I think you might have touched on it. You said that coming in here, there was no issue? Well, we got some looks and maybe a stare okay. or a gaze or two. Um, but in the end, we had no problems whatsoever. They were very helpful. Okay. Yeah. So, Sam, you were here today. Now, you weren't particularly on the message of Justin Bieber and Nora Roberts jump off a cliff who wins society. You weren't necessarily on that bandwagon, right? Correct. But you were here demonstrating some Israel-related issues. What was your cause today? Well, first of all, Levi, I want to thank you for coming down here to help memorialize yes. our protest. And I'm You're here. Welcome. I'm here. To really, we're really doing two things. We're mm -hmm. we're supporting our First Amendment rights and supporting our friend that got arrested. But we're also supporting our primary messages here like, to support Israel. Mm -hmm. I have my, my my Trump hat, Make America Great, and yeah. I'm wearing my um, Israel Defense Forces uh, T-shirt. I have. Uh, you know, I was born in Washington, D.C. I'm an mm -hmm. American patriot, but oh, I yes. also uh, love Israel. And, um, and I stand with the Jewish people, stand with Israel uh, forever. Okay. Do you have any concerns here in Frederick? Maybe you seen any local anti-Semitism? You want to t touch on that topic a little bit? How do you think Frederick does in that area? Well, I, I don't think uh, Frederick is uh, mm. is full of Jew lovers here. Really? Yeah, that's but, interesting. Yeah, but that's a, uh, that's but, a meatball right but there. Probably better. It's probably better than Montgomery. <laughs> Montgomery. <laughs> okay. It's probably better than Montgomery County. Wow. You know. Okay. It, um, 
Um, there are thousands and thousands of, of Muslims in my particular uh, mm -hmm. neighborhood, and um, you know the, the message of supporting Israel does not go over well. Well, one of the things I want to touch on with you specifically is that when there were demonstrations happening at Frederick Community College, you were involved in that. Correct. How did that go? Uh, I was really surprised that uh, people that are what was the sentiment? Uh, people are being educated and they're basically supporting terrorists. People take supporting mm -hmm. people that are killing children and and taking glee and doing it and dismembering people and, and torturing people. Sure. Uh, and these are the people that are uh, supposedly the leaders of tomorrow. People being educated. How about, I mean, I can't think of the people that aren't at college. I mean, the people that the uh, that aren't being educated yeah. in, in universities and so forth. It's it's disgusting, really. Right. Right. Right, right, right. So, Sean, I want to ask you a question about this message right here. Was your purpose today to come to Winchester Hall to really express disdain with Justin Bieber and Nora Roberts, or was it just to compare and contrast Frederick, Maryland to Avery, North Carolina? It was twofold. It was both of those uh, mm -hmm. purposes at the same time, a two for one. Two birds, one stone. Right. Um, you know, I am staunchly anti Nora Roberts and staunchly okay. anti Justin Bieber. And, and staunchly anti vaccine? I, I am not a believer. The vaccine will never <laughs> go in my body. Um, I have a lot of friends who were injured by the vaccine. Um, I am not a supporter of Justin Bieber's politics. He's Canadian anyway. I mean, he mm -hmm. needs to, you know, if he wants to try to change the country, why doesn't he start with the country that he fled from the high taxes and the, the bitter cold? Why doesn't he try some global warming up and there? They took Maybe took away the guns. It's ridiculous what's going on in Canada. But basically, yeah, I, I'm against both, you know, Nora Roberts and Justin Bieber. As mm -hmm. I said before, I am not a believer. Um, he is no Taylor Swift. I'll just leave it at that. So I guess the question I need to ask you is, do you believe in vaccines? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, I, be I believe they are killing people. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I certainly don't support them. Okay. All right. That's very interesting. So, Sam, I'll go back to you. How does this compare uh, to other demonstrations that you've done? Coming inside this building during this public meeting, you know, obviously it's a televised situation. Compare this to other demonstrations that you've done. Well, I mean, I, I think right now it's too early to tell. Okay. We, we don't know what the reaction would be. If we come back another time, we'll, we'll be, we'll, we be seen mm -hmm. as disruptive or, or yeah. whatever. Um, right now, I, I think it went, you know, reasonably well. People uh, obviously understood that, um, you know, what the law is, that, we're sure. allowed, that we are allowed to be here. Um, but um, again, I, I think it's a little too early to tell. So this is going to be a question for both of you. Did you expect a different reaction? You went in there, you stood around for a while, not much happened. I was in there for a moment, got some footage of it. People were facing forward. Did you expect to be confronted by anyone, that being the, the council or the public who is witnessing the council? Did you expect any sort of commotion, problems? things of that nature. No, because Frederick has always been very mm -hmm. awesome to protest in. The Frederick City Police have been great. Um, the Frederick County Sheriffs have been great. Security staff has been great. Mm -hmm. We've never had a problem with First Amendment issues in Frederick County. Um, okay. With regards to you know most instances, they're pretty supportive and good to go. I didn't expect there to be any problems. Uh, all the county council people, they were all staring, like trying to read the sign, like what the heck does it say? What is that word? You know, right. uh, we got those looks, but you know they just went on about their business as they should. That's what they're paid to do. Um, so there was no issues whatsoever. Yes, sir. Can you please lower your octaves because they can hear you in there. Oh, oh they can. Oh, crap. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's whisper. Let's finish, this. <laughs> let's, let's finish this in a whisper tone. All right. Okay. That's your okay. Right. okay you're, you're, we just good. got a tongue lashing. All right, guys. So security, Winchester Hall security just confronted us. They said that we're being too loud. So what we're going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to tone it down a little bit and we're going to close out this interview in a whisper because we don't want to get kicked out. I asked a question earlier to Sam, I'm going to ask it to you. How does coming to a physical building during a public meeting or a forum, how does that differ from being outside the normal form of protest for you? Well. 
Um, there's walls and a roof <laughs> and electricity. Right. And then on top of that, um, it's it's the noise reverberates and it, you know it's it's not as much fun. I'd rather be outside. Yeah. You know, it's nicer out there. Even in the cold, it's more fun. You can't catch a suntan in here. It's really it's tough to get a suntan or a snow burn yeah. or wind, wind burn or frostbite. But, For sure. Uh, it's better outside. But yeah. I think at the community college, though, I had a feeling though the, the administrators, you know, felt like they had a kind of an ownership, you know, mm -hmm. and they, they were, uh, you know, irritated at us. But I think here, somehow being in the building, people understand that, mm -hmm. that um, this is a public building. Have... This is what I'll close out with. Do you think that you have confused Frederick County tonight? A lot. Big time. Yeah. yeah. Do we think that perhaps... They don't know what to believe. Right. They don't. <laughs> do, do you think that there might be some explaining that needs to happen from this? Would you give lead way to the fact that it's not every day two grown men come into a, a public meeting and hold up a... Uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, we need to jack it up. A large, we, we a large Justin Bieber sign. We need, we, need, we need to jack it up. We yeah. need to jack our message up. Right, yeah, I, you I, think so? I've got some ideas. Uh-huh. You know, we just proved that Frederick County is way cooler than yeah. um, Avery County, North Carolina, where they're, mm -hmm. you know, anti-free speech and a bunch of tyrants. So yeah. we well, proved our point. Yeah, well, they came out here tonight, and they proved their point. So with that... Move to Frederick County, Maryland, and not Avery, North Carolina. Levi Trumbull reporting at Winchester Hall in Frederick, Maryland.